All right, guys, it's going on and welcome back to episode of our Pokemon X Extreme Randomizer. And that's a lot. Hopefully, you guys are having yourself a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure you go and drop a like down below. Of course, the support is greatly appreciated. Guys, if we can hit 500 likes on today's episode, that would be awesome. So if you go down and see the like counter isn't quite at 500, make sure you drop a like. It takes one simple click and it helps us shut off our 3DS capture card. It helps us reach our like goal. I wasn't even holding it on, so that's why it turned off. Either way, uh, we are here in Lumio City. All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to an episode of our Pokemon X Extreme Randomizer. And it's like, hopefully, you guys are having yourselves a great day today. If you do want to go and split the episode, make sure you go and drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. Guys, if we can hit 500 likes on today's episode, that would be absolutely amazing. So if you go down and you see the like counter isn't quite at 500, make sure you drop a like. It takes one simple click and it helps us reach our goals. So here we are in Lumio City today because we have to continue on route, uh, continue like on to route 14 something like that our team is looking a bit different because we do have another team member I leveled up Minoxide to level 43 and I'll explain why in a second either way Minoxide has Fell Stinger, Thunderbolt, Autotomized, and uh, Fire Punch Snake Eyes the Huntail with Acrobatics, Thousand Arrows, Sacred Sword, and Fire Punch Aqua the Samurai with Electro Web, Psy Wave, uh, Surf and Boom Burst Chester the Victini with Dark Void, Psy Strike, Stone Edge, and Fire Punch Mercedes the Perugly with Psy Strike, Fire Fang, Storm Throw, and Tail Glow and last but not least Cello the uh, what's it called? Krakatoon I almost forgot his name. Uh, Phantom Force, Flame Charge, Horn Leech, and Drain Punch. So, the reason why Minoxide is 43 and not 44 is that if you remember, last episode, we got a rare candy towards the end of the episode, and I used it on, um, on Luxray after it died. It's just so we could see how, like, it was towards the end of the episode. I used it on Luxray just so we could see what it would have evolved into. And here I have three rare candies. So I went and I genned in one extra one for um, the one that we used on Orem. Because it's like we used it on a dead Pokemon. So I just gave myself another one just so like we would actually have the rare candies. So what we're going to do is start this episode off with uh, some evolutions. I have two more here because we're going to use the two more on some dead, not dead Pokemon. But I want to use one on Nosepass. Uh, because you guys told me that we can go all the way back to the Lumio's Badlands, and that's where Nosepass evolves, so thank you guys for that. And then also, I want to evolve Barboach by leveling it up, because I'm uh, curious to see what our dead Barboach would have evolved into if it would have made it. Um, so we're going to use one on Nosepass. And the reason why I'm okay with using a Gen in Ray Candy on our Nosepass is because it's so low leveled compared to the rest of our team that if we were going to use it anyways, we'd have to grind it up. So we might as well just do it. It doesn't matter. And I'm sure you guys would like to see some evolutions. But for the moment of truth, let's evolve Monoxide. Trying to learn Bug Bite. I'm going to, even though it is Stab, I'm going to say no. Because it's going to change its typing right here anyways, probably. It could still be a bug type, but... Hopefully it'll be maybe an electric type, because we do have Thunderbolt. This thing had Thunderbolt on it when we caught it. And we did teach a Fire Punch, so it's a Fire type. And eh, I mean, we already have a Fire type, but come on. Do something good, do something good. Come on, we've gotten screwed over with evolutions. Well, actually, well, one time we had something good. Don't we have a Leaf Stone? We're doing it again. We're going again. Round two. <laughs> We're doing another one. Because I'm pretty sure we have a Leaf Stone. I'm actually almost 100% sure we have a Leaf Stone. How is it 45? Wait, it jumped up a level. Did you guys see that? Someone pointed this out when we evolved Pet Lil too, that it jumped levels. See, it was 43, rare candy, now it's 45. I'm not gonna pay too much attention to it because it doesn't really matter, but... Uh, where's the Leaf Stone? Where's the Leaf Stone? I know we have one. There it is. We're going again, round two. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Come on, Monoxide. Evolve into something cool. Evolve into something cool. The reason why I'm doing this now is because I know it'll take up some time, and I don't know if we have the time to do, like, the Pokeball Factory in, the, uh, in today's episode, so. Come on, something cool. Come on, please, please. I'm not gonna lie, 
Autotomize Nasty Plot is pretty freaking dope. But still, are you serious? Let's see what level it is now. I wonder what level it is. It's back to 44. What the fuck? What is going on? All right, so I guess we'll just try to train this thing in today's episode. Um, but let's do what I said. I mean, it's still on the team no matter if we like it or not because we don't have another replacement for it right now. So let's just hope that a Cascoon will evolve into something cool. All right, um, but first we got some stuff to take care of. Like this bar boat, hold on. I wanna move Victini back over here though just so I don't get too confused. Okay, whoops. Capture card, stay in. There we go. I actually think we'll probably I think the last two episodes the capture card didn't unplug once, so we were on a bit of a hot streak. So Orum is level 44 now. Someone sucker punch, it doesn't matter. This thing is dead. Alright, come on. I just want to see what we could have got from this bar boat. Then again, we could just get stuck in an ever in a never ending cycle of evolution and it could just evolve right again after this. I really should have checked the ability of Weeping Bell and it's like uh, typing before I evolved it. So that's kind of on my bad, but whatever. Hopefully it just did, wasn't anything too crazy. Let's see. Come on. Come on, buddy. Don't be good. Don't be good. Don't be good. Oh my God. Oh. Of course, it's the thing that died, man. Of course. Yeah. I'm not very happy. This thing has jumped down four levels. It's dragon type sandstream. Okay, so it wasn't that good. It just has... Uh, it's a freaking wrench ice, man. All right. Whoops. Okay. So now we got to make our way back to the route that had... Uh, that's the power plant. So the Lumios Badlands. We got to go there so we can evolve Nose Pass and then we can move on. I just want to do this because I think it'd be fun. Um, let's see. Can I get on my bug? Get oh, Jesus Christ, man! I hate this so much. <sighs> I should just look online and see if anyone's selling a 3DS capture card from like Loopy, so I could just get one easy like that. Because this is so anno like annoying when it unplugs. All right, cool. Here's the Lumios Badlands. I don't know if there's a specific spot where we need to do this, but I'm just gonna hope it's right here. Because if not, I guess we're not getting a Probo Pass or we're not going to get this thing to evolve. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's see what Nose Pass would evolve into. Would ha I mean, what it is evolved into. This thing's alive, I gotta remember. Nose Pass isn't alive. Also, this thing had Parental Bond. I want you guys to note that right now. So if we're giving it up for some trash, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to be very upset. That is power! That is... Yes, dude! That is freaking awesome! Let's go! I also love that nickname for it, too. That is dope. It just... Wait, hold on. It was level... Wait, okay, for a second I thought it was level 44. I think it was around level 30 anyway, so... It's ground in rock. It has download? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. This thing honestly is like... It's, it's, it's honestly shit. I'm not gonna lie, but... It's still a dope-ass Pokemon. Jeez, this is such a cool Pokemon. Why is Avalug so underrated, man? Not underrated in the sense of like, you know, it's not good competitively, or it's like good competitively, but people sleep on it. Underrated in like its design. This Pokemon, this Pokemon is cool. It needs more praise. Oh crap! I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so now that that is all out of the way, I believe we are just gonna continue on to Route 14. And uh, make our way to Louvre City. I don't know how to pronounce it because I haven't seen the name yet. I've just been kind of just grasping at thin air and what the name of this town is called. But let's go ahead and put Avalug in the PC because unfortunately it's not up to par in levels. And we're just going to have the EXP shirt on um, until this thing evolves again. 
And we're gonna hope it's something good. Jeez. Yeah, I don't really want to have the XP shirt on right now because... I don't want our team to get too overleveled, but it's just until this thing levels up once. So it's not that big of a deal. I don't know if even anyone else will learn any moves or something. Or not learn any moves, I'm stupid. Uh, evolve, level up. I can't even talk. Either way, we're finally continuing on in the game, which I'm glad about. I'm glad about. We're actually making pretty freaking good progress. See, that's what daily uploads do. You make actual progress. Funny how that works out, right? Actually, we didn't check out at all what you could get in the swampy area. We only checked in the grass. That's what I should have done last episode when I was, like, trying to figure out, um... You know, what, what we could have gotten this route. I should have checked out this swampy area, too, because this has totally different Pokemon. I'm pretty sure, at least. A water will, for sure. Alright, I'm not gonna have Snake Eyes up front, though, because we all know Snake Eyes cannot run at all. He really can't. We will have, uh... Let's put Chester up front. Chester... Oh, I'm not gonna do that now. Have you heard of him? Hey, Cleanse Tag. I know there's a TM that you can find in here. I'm not really sure what it is, but... Um, you know, there it is. After we get a couple more encounters, just to see what else we could have gotten. I'll, I think we have a Super Pelt. That's a Torterra. Well, hello there, buddy. Look at Chester. It's actually raining, so I don't know how much... I, I, a Fire Punch, we just can't use. Everything else is fine, but... Fire Punch is just gonna do jack dong to anything because of the, um, the rain. Um, so let's see if I have a... A repel of some sort. Yeah, we have five. I think five super pels. That's a thousand steps right there, so. We should be able to get through this. Look at me. I can do mental math, right? Oh. Look what I found. A trainer. Well, look at you. You're freaking, you're a genius, okay? Why would you wear roller skates in this environment? That doesn't seem very smart at all. It does not seem smart. All right, Chester, buddy. He's got big blue eyes. He looks so innocent all the time. Let's try a side strike out. The animation is really cool. I'm not like how it looks with Victini. So if you're using Electro Web, I have no reason to not assume that you are not a uh, Electric type. That you are Electric type. I don't really know. I kind of lost track of what I was saying there. Let's just hope we can hit a Stone Edge, and we can. Unfortunately, we don't have Victory Star, which normally would increase our uh, our accuracy, I think. I think that's what Victory Star does. Uh, that's Victini's ability, right? So... If we go for Dark Void, he's just going to snatch it and put us to sleep. So I do not want that to happen. Come on, bro. Just kill the Gorgeist. Gorgas is a pretty cool Pokemon, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I always kind of forget about it just because it's it's random, but it's cool. It's a Jack-O-Lantern. A Jack-O-Lantern! There we go, level 45. I wonder how much uh, experience everyone else is getting, because I just want Silcoon or whatever the frick that is, Cascoon Silcoon, to evolve. It's the first Pyro we've seen. Uh, I used a Pyroar in one playthrough that I did of X, and it was a freaking beast. I loved it. I think it was a male Pyroar. I probably named it Simba because I'm not very good at nicknaming. That's a pretty generic name, but I named it Simba, I'm pretty sure. And it was just a beast. Holy crap. I'm pretty sure male Pyroars are actually more rare also, so... Made it even more special. Actually, if you're going for withdraws, I probably should just go for Side Strike, right? That would make more sense. Also, I get a crit. Yeah, I definitely should just go for this one. Dazzling Gleam. So are you a fairy type? Probably. Probably. Is withdraw warmel? Uh, warmel? Hello? I was thinking normal and I wanted to say water. So, oh, that is embarrassing. A water move? I think it's a water move. It might not be though. Side strike, that's gonna kill for show. I said warmel. The cut. Oh, it hits for physical damage. I'm stupid. Oh god. That is embarrassing. I wanted to send in Monoxide to get the kill, but we all know what happened last time a Pokemon was one level away from evolving. Oh, we know what happened. It got Oblivion Winked, and I'm not letting that happen again. Hell no. You can miss me with that. Now, something I actually wonder with these NPCs, do they know what typing we are as soon as we, like, or are they, like, doing the same guessing game as we are? I actually have no idea. 
But either way, I should finish it off. I should just use Aqua here, because Surf is going to destroy everything. I do think it's really weird that when a Pokemon evolves, like, the level skip of some... It's it's pretty freaking weird. It's pretty damn weird. I feel like any Pokemon that we have on our team, if they evolve, it's just always going to evolve into something bad. But as soon as it's not on our team, it's going to evolve into something good. Like, Avalug is still not that good. I just thought it was better than what we were getting. So that's why I was so excited. Because it is better than what we were getting. We've got an Onix. The best thing we've gotten is Darmanitan, for sure. We've gotten an Onix. We've gotten a, um, a Barboach. I mean, that thing was dead. Then it evolved into a Regice. So we got a, a Weeping Bell, a Cascoon. Like, our evolutions are not... You know, it's a, it's a lot to a little in terms of how many good ones we got compared to how many bad ones. Oh, come on. Give me out of... That's unfair, bro. I was I was stuck in a hole and you just... You posted up. It's not fair, buddy. Hex Maniac Nash. Alright, so he's got a Barbarical. Is that shiny? Oh, no. He's, he's even more green when he's shiny. I don't know why I thought that was shiny. Obviously, it's not. Alright, let's put it to sleep. Hopefully, it doesn't have, like, Snatch. I should really be looking for that first turn Dark Void. As soon as I said Dark Void, the, the scream in black because I... I promise you that was not planned. In what world would I want to plan that? Size Strike. Come on, buddy. God damn, we are not getting lucky at all with Victini. Like, every move is just not super effective. Also, Victini has not missed a Stone Edge yet. I want to point that out. But watch as soon as I say that, like, he's going to start missing. He's going to miss this one. I'm telling you right now. Watch. He's going to miss this Stone Edge. Okay, wow. Never mind. I wish we had, like, no guard or something, but... Don't. Alright, come on, Silcoon. I know you want to evolve soon. I know you want to level up. I know you want to level up. If we find a rare candy, I'll just save it until like it evolves. So that way, if it evolves in like to a Pokemon that's uh that can still evolve, it'll most likely evolve in the next level, so we can just evolve it right after. But I don't even think we'll find a rare candy. Why is she just looking at the wall or water? That is so scary. She's freaky. I'm not gonna lie. Come on this way. Well, if you say so. It's the house. It's a scary house, isn't it? Well, I guess we should go inside. What? You're going inside? Are you all nervous? Serena is uh, off spending time with her Pokemon, so I guess we'll just have to go in without her. Alright. Yes, this part is very spooky, guys. If you if you don't like scary things, just uh, just look away for a bit. I'll narrate it you. Don't, no, I'll narrate it for you. You see, like, this has to be like a tourist attraction. It's not just some random scary house because... Like, this dude is just standing here welcoming you. This is a funny story, though, if you read it. Like, he's like, there's a horde of faceless men. The first time I ever, this, I was ever, like, looking at this, this scene, this part right here, that part, it was like a small jump scare. I was like, <gasps> I was shook. Since I told a wonderful story, though, I'll always haunt you, would you like to tip me? Hell no. Let's get out of here. Damn, Shauna. She does not like tipping. I remember when this game first came out, there was a rumor that if you tip, the more you tipped, the, um, like, it would, uh, raise your chances of getting a shiny. I don't think that's true. Um, I really don't, but, I mean, I, I guess it could, and I just don't know. What should I do? I guess I'll go to Lavare City. So, it's kind of close with its name. It's kind of close. So, let's check out how close this thing is to evolving. Also, I guess they healed our Pokemon, so that's kind of cool. Damn, that's actually a lot. Okay. That is a lot more than I expected. Alright, let's go to Lavare though. This dude gives us a TM. Weather ball. Hmm. I wonder what he I forgot what he normally gives you actually. Torment. Oh, well, that makes sense. Literally just told us. The music here is so nice. That Fairy Gym's puzzle, it's like Sabrina's kind of, where you have to um, like navigate your way around with the teleporters. That's going to give me a hard time. I already know it. I can sense it. Uh Oh, you can go this way. Nope, I guess you can't. 
five million dollars? Holy crap. It's not that worth it. Actually, hold on. What's up with you? 12 inches or less. 12 inches higher small. What are we just talking about? Maybe Fungus, because there's a bunch of things here. I'm just going in here because I feel like this dude will sell TMs. Screw off, bro. Come on. You know what I want. You know what I want. Alright, um... So yeah, there's a Pokeball factory, uh... Hello? Why did why do these dudes want to see big Pokemon? Higher than 910? Jesus Christ, you want a fucking basketball player? Is that what you want? Okay, I didn't really mean to swear like that crazy. Oh normally when I say the F-word or drop the F-word in videos, I do it like kinda under my breath, but that damn, that was just straight up. I guess I was really mad and I didn't even know it. Okay, let's go back here and fight a couple of trainers. Let's see if we can get Cascoon to evolve. I know some people don't like it when I uh, when I swear or whatnot, and I keep it to a minimum. I'm usually pretty clean. Um, like, I'll, I'll, like I'll do it for a comedic effect. I won't do it normally if it's not necessary. That was a little unnecessary, so I do kind of apologize for that. Um, just dropping it right there, so I, it's not gonna happen. I don't think anytime soon. It's, I mean, that's the only time I've really hard dropped it this whole playthrough. So maybe we'll keep it to a minimum. We'll see. That is a that is a why are these Pokemon off center? It's so freaking weird. Guys, look at our shiny Silcoon or Cascoon. I don't know which one it is, so I can't make that joke. All right, let's just try to kill. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see how much a Thunderbolt will do. Okay, it really didn't do as little as I thought it would. It definitely did a lot more than I thought it would. So I'll give I'll give our homeboy that, but. Okay, that one did. That, it's not even worth it at this point. And of course, we can't run away. We don't have legs, so it makes sense. I mean, we do have little spikes that pop out. You saw that. It's like Huntail over again. Bro! You see, this is like the problem with me. I'm too lazy to switch out and then run away, even though that would have been faster. Definitely. Definitely would have been faster. Alright, um... Actually, let me throw up another super repel. I just want to run into, like, two trainers. I'll switch train. And then we'll do this. And y'all will come along with me because we're all in this together. I'm gonna start singing High School Musical. Can't do it. Can't do it. Let's fight this dude. We need 3,000. We need 3,000 experience. I think it'll be two trainers before we get 3,000. Unless this dude's got a lot of- Nope, oh, definitely not a lot of EXP farming stuff. Alright, I have a plan. I'm gonna attempt to get to plus six. I'm going to attempt, as I said. Also, I should probably atomize. That'd be kind of sick. Because this raises speed. Also, is that secret sword of sacred? I think it's secret. Oh, hell yeah. Became nimble. Alright, we got this. I'm gonna see if I can sweep this dude and then so we can get the most experience possible. Look at our HP. We only have a hundred. That's actually insane. And we're still not faster even after uh, Autotomize, that's insane. Alright, come on. Let's nasty pull out one, uh, one more time. Autotomize one more time. Uh, hyper Potion, and then... Balls to the wall. We got it. We got it, straight up. Unless we get crit here. Holy crap, I would've actually jumped out the window. I would've been... Uh, uh, beyond upset. I feel like this is gonna go really poorly, but at the same time, I just... I. I I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I need this evolution. Alright, come on, buddy. You got this. We are still slower. Still.
It pains me to do this, but oh my god, bro. We... Why? This is just me trying to freaking evolve a cast him. I know I'm gonna lose a Pokemon in the process too. That's an This thing is faster than me. I actually don't know what I just used. It could have used like Sucker Punch and I wasn't even looking. That did nothing. Is this thing Jesus? I'm I'm really confused on what I'm fighting right now. Is this a Badoo? Like this has to be something else. Die. You. God, this stupid. It's not even a full flower yet. I was gonna say a flower. It's just a bud. Deadly bird. All right, serve. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That wouldn't take nearly as long. Snake eyes is 45. Sweet. Hypno. I wonder what, um, I forgot the fairy gym leader's nickname. Not nickname, just actual name. Wow, I don't know how I forgot, but I forgot. Not what, eh. Oh, excuse me. I wonder what she's gonna have. Come on. I should have gened in another red candy just for fun. Just so I could use it now and not hate myself. Lucky chant. Alright, if you crit me, I swear. Because that raises crit chance, right? Oh no, it shields you from crits. Whoops. That's fine. Just don't sing me. Also, it's not raining anymore, which kind of sucks. That means surf is going to do even less. This thing's probably a grass type. Oh, no, it's probably dragon. That's why I was resistant to water. Alright, there we go. Good job, buddy. Okay. So there we go. Uh, do, do, do. Let's battle this lady. Are you trying to battle? Oh. Well, that was a really weird apology, but I'll take it. See, it was supposed to be toxic, and I would honestly have... I'd rather it would be toxic. Wait, that's a T... I thought I just saw a TM, but I'm, I guess I'm dumb. Do you like fairy tales or reality? I, I really don't know, girl. Why are you asking me these questions? That is not a girl. <laughs> At least this will give a lot of experience, and I think we're out with um, a Nox. This is a perfectly well-rounded matchup right now. I'm gonna stay in and try to kill- I'm just kidding. I'm hopping out of here. Let's go to Chester. Why not? So Xerneas, let's see what you got. When I did a Y randomizer a long time ago, I think last summer, um, I had a Xerneas throughout like the whole, pretty much the whole like time. We didn't finish the whole playthrough. It actually ended about now, and it's because I actually lost the save file. I think Whoopsire wanted me to do an FFA, so I updated my 3DS and forgot, and I couldn't actually open the uh, the randomizer anymore. That's when like the 3DS software, like the 3DS hack software, which is how I actually like do this, um, this randomizer. Oh, uh, how convenient. Um, that so now that I don't need to like. It wouldn't really matter that much if I updated and stuff like that. Uh, but I couldn't back then. After I updated, that was it. I couldn't access it anymore. And he's still hitting them. Oh, this thing's flying probably. Sweet. Come on, you won't level. Come on, level up, buddy. Yes! There we go. Monoxide's 45. Sick. We get to see what it'll evolve into, and then we get to get we get to be disappointed, which is awesome. And after this, we definitely gotta turn off the XP share, even if this thing has to evolve, if it can evolve again, unless it's by like stone or something. I am. Oh, I was gonna say if we could just kill it. reflect type. What does that do? What are we rock type? That means that's gonna do no damage. Wow, everyone's 45 though, so. I mean, I guess the EXP share worked out. 
All right, snake eyes, let's get him. That, oh, I was gonna say, that did a lot more than I thought it would, even though it was basically nothing. Oh my god, this thing's about to evolve. Please tell me this was worth it. Oh my god. Please tell me this was worth it, and I didn't do all this for nothing. Please tell me, I wasted so much time. Please just be good, bro, come on. Cast Coon, Sil Coon, I don't even know what the hell this thing is. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I can't. I can't look, bro. I really can't. I'm so nervous, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna see if I can guess by the cry. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Oh my god! Oh, he has a massive wing! He definitely does! Actually, he doesn't. You can kind of see. Yes! We got Clown Man! Hawk! Big ass dicks in his hands! You see that? Holy crap! This dude is strapped up! He really is. He's also level 46 now for some reason, but. <gasps> what you got? <laughs> Yo, this is insane, bro. I, 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 we have been blessed. We ha literally the best evolution ever. It has Wonder Guard. Only can get hit by super effective moves. And it's a Kunkelder. My life just turned upside down. I am telling you that right now. So it is a dragon, not dry. Holy shit. Rock and ground type. Um, can you learn any other cool moves? Like that will actually help it. Storm throw? Storm throw will help it. It's a physical attacker. Uh, he does have fire punch, which is pretty freaking dope. Autotomize won't be that bad. Look at that attack set. I'm just gonna give it a thunderbolt. Honestly, this move set is really freaking good. Right now, he can get speed. I mean, okay, he's gonna still be slow as hell, so it's gonna take a lot of autotomizes to even get him up to par to some of these Pokemon. Guys, we are, I am so freaking happy right now. It was definitely worth all that. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let me turn that off. We have, a, we have a viable team again. We have a working team. We have literally the most broken Pokemon in the world. Also, I keep forgetting, we do have a Lucario in the PC, which we can use as a token encounter. So, if there's a route where there's anything crazy, remind me, guys. Remind me and tell me if um I should use the token encounter there. But, I think we're going to wrap it up right there. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like. Like I said, 500 likes is the goal. I really do appreciate it. And uh, next episode, we'll be doing the Pokeball Factory, I'm pretty sure, as well as the Fairy Gym. So, it should be very action-packed. But Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.